We've lost the trail, dense bush to get through, the boggy sections, the leg breaking holes. I mean, I like a good bush bash like the next guy, but this seems like it's gonna take a long time with no machete. We are in Fjordland once again today, right off the Milford Sound Road to tackle, I think a lesser traveled track or route, the Grave Talbot route. Don't know much about it, other than every time I drive by here, no one is pulled over by the side of the road. It's a very infrequently traveled track here in Fjordland. Hopefully takes us into an area full of waterfalls and rivers and cliffs and mountains. But honestly don't know a whole lot about this track other than it's, it's very infrequently traveled. A lot of people just blaze out here on the way to Milford Sound, hit Milford Sound and head back. And unfortunately you're missing out on a lot of the beauty of Fjordland National Park, which we will be able to show you hopefully today. Very lush and dense rainforest here right off the bat. The track is pretty slippery, mossy, and muddy, so I could see how after some rain or during rain this would be pretty, pretty slippery, slippery going. But uh, perfect example of the rainforest here in Fjordland, just so dense and lush due to all the rain they get. Heavy amount of bird life too so far on this track, which is awesome. Well, the trail, trail I should say, in quotation marks, has devolved into a swampy, boggy, muddy mess and it is slow going now at this point. Just trying to dodge this stuff and not uh, end up waist deep in this, in this bog. Starting to see maybe why this track is not frequently done as we've reached a section where it's just some markers occasionally, but just dense bush, totally overgrown, no signs of, of passage through this particular way. So yeah, it's basically just turning into a bush bash. More dense than Falls Creek, I would say. Um, I, we're supposed to go up this valley and it ends in some cliffs and waterfalls maybe, but I mean this this bush is pretty dense, like a machete would be very handy right now. Alright, well, we have, we've opted to follow this uh, riverbed up the rest of the way instead of where supposedly the track is next to the riverbed. It's dry, relatively easy compared to what we were just in, so um, hopefully this takes us up to the head of the valley, but yeah, much, much slower going had we stayed in this bush over here. I don't think we can climb any higher up on the river. That's the bad news. The good news is, look at this. What? 
I was gonna say earlier, this reminds me of another hike we've done here in Fiordland. It's rarely done, False Creek. Made a video about that one. And this one was similar, except there wasn't much elevation gain. That has changed. Now, we found the trail right alongside that waterfall where we couldn't climb up and um, yeah, steep, overgrown, very similar vibes to False Creek, so. Huh. follow the trail, the marginal trail, and then... A route, actually, right? Yeah. And that's a little bit of bush bashing, it's mostly a trail, but then you get to where it's just completely bush bashing. No more markers that I see. And you've been bashing some bush in many different directions, looking for a, a lead up to the valley, right? Yes. And what did you just say to me? I don't want to say it all. So Sam said she thinks we should abort the mission. Um, it kind of looks like we're almost there, but it could be deceptive. Uh, we still have a way to go to get above the tree line, and we're running out of daylight because sunset's at 6.30 now. It's a little after, th it's almost 3. So um, it's taken us five hours to get to this point almost. So at this point, we've lost the trail, dense bush to get through. We could go back and follow the river up, but we're just gonna run out of daylight. And especially on the way back, when we have the dense bush, hard to find markers, the boggy sections, the leg breaking holes, it's probably uh, a good call to, uh, to abort. So we didn't reach our final planned destination, which is the head of this valley where there's some other waterfalls. But hey, we saw those amazing blue waterfalls back there. And uh, I don't know, do you wanna go back and uh, swim in those waterfalls, honey? Yeah, and I never abort, so... I know, it's hard. It is. But you know what? It's the right call. Is it? Should we bush... But now I, I can see right through those trees. Let's try. You can what now? I can see just on the other side of those trees. It's yeah, but, grasslands. But look over there. See the tree line over there? That's deceptive. That's not the end of the tree line no, right, right there. right there. So apparently uh, she changed her mind again and wants to keep going. She loves bush bashing apparently, but uh, I think it's the right call to probably turn back because this isn't the type of thing you want to be walking out in the dark, but huh? she wants to bush bash some more, so I guess that's what we're going to do. How's it look over there? Uh, sorry, in a minute. Now you said you wanted to keep going through this for 10 more minutes, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe if we had a machete. Yeah. I mean, this is not... Okay. It's not. I don't know, man. I don't know either. I mean, I like a good bush bash like the next guy, but... This seems like it's going to take a long time with no machete. Yeah. This is dense Fjordland bush. Can't just be coming out here like a crazy tourist. Now you're saying on the dock website this is marked as easy? No, I realized on the dock website it doesn't even come up, so I think they stopped they stopped maintaining it maybe. That's what it looks like. Sure does look like that. <laughs> Change of plans again. Sam does not give up that easily, okay? So we have decided <laughs> to head back into the river and go up the river bed the river bed it's pretty dry right now but uh it's at least to make it to these massive falls at the head of the valley hopefully we won't be walking too much in the dark but we really gotta keep it moving 
up these massive boulders. So that, that should go real quick, I'm sure. Well, I think I'm starting to understand why maybe nobody does this hike. Wow, made it to the head of the valley, guys. It is totally worth it. You can see in the distance that waterfall is a tiny little trickle. So this is about as far as we're going to go because there's a trickle mist falls there, which maybe in higher flow is nice, but right now you can't really beat the views across the valley there. I mean, look at that. That is just stunning. Right? Reminds me of Yosemite or something. So apparently there's another waterfall over that direction. You can also do, there's like a pass here or a saddle or something, which you can connect over to the other side of Homer Tunnel. Kia. Just heard of Kia. But uh, I think that about wraps it up. It's been quite a day. It's been quite an adventurous day. And uh, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling satisfied with what we've accomplished. How about you, honey? Are you? I mean, you did say there's no way we're stopping. We have to go see it. Wait, listen, do you hear? I hear water. Let's go. Come on, man. <laughs> there's, a tri there's a trickle up there. You don't hear it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at that! That's like somebody sitting at the top and like literally pissing down. Infamous.